guys hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's me blessing and in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to draft a strapless bustier so if this sound like what you want to learn definitely keep on watching so guys there is a pattern paper with me here i'll just go ahead to rule my starting line and that will be my we serve as my shoulder line okay So guys, after that, from that shoulder line here, I will just go ahead to mark my chest line, 9 inches. That is the basic neckline, um, and that 9 inches works for all sizes. But you can still divide yours and and mark the, the one you have, okay? You can divide it by, you divide your bust measurement by 6, then you add 1.5 inches to it. That will give you your accurate chest line, okay? But for me, I normally use nine, and that's that nine work perfectly for me and for my clients. Okay, so I will just go ahead to mark my bust point line, my under bust line, and the waist line as well. Then I will just go ahead to roll this line up, just the way you see me doing. Guys, so guys, after that, I will just go ahead to label these lines. That is my shoulder line. Here is my chest line, my bust point line, my under bust line, which is UB, and my waist line as well. So guys, that is it. So the next thing I'll be doing is for me to divide my measurements, my chest, my shoulder measurement into two. Although we measure my shoulder measurement divided by two, then I will mark what i have after that i will roll it up like after then i will make my basic neckline three inches by the weight then i will mark three inches by the depth as well this is just a basic neckline so after that i will just go ahead to roll it up with a curve ruler just the way you see me doing then guys after that the next thing i will be doing here is for me to take my shoulder slope by one inch then connect it to the neckline so guys after connecting this is what we have so then after that the next thing i will be doing i will just uh, divide my Post uh, nipple to nipple measurement by two. Then I will mark what I have there. My nipple to nipple measurement is seven inches. By the time I divide by two, I will have three point five inches. Then I will just mark it to the bust point line as shown. So guys, after marking, I will just connect these lines to meet in shoulder like this. So guys, this is my nipple to nipple measurement. Then I'll just go ahead to take my darts, okay? I will measure half an inch of both sides. But if you are busty, you can come in by 0.75 on both sides. So that, so guys, after that, I'll just connect to meet the bust point just the way you see it doing. So guys, after marking, this is what we have. So guys, the next thing I will be doing here is for me to come to my shoulder slope like so. Then I will measure what I have. I will just measure what I have there. Then I will. Then after marking, and I will just divide using my tape to divide it into into equal half like so. Then I will make a notch there. Then from then I will take my ruler to connect this line to meet the boss point line. Like so we are not using the yoke part, okay? 
so the next thing i will be doing i will just come to my under balls and for the side for the center front i will come in by half an inch while for the side i will come out by 1.5 inches okay but if you are busty you can come in out by 1.75 and for the center front you can come in by 0.75 okay then after marking i will just screw this line down to the waistline just the way you see me doing then i will do the other one like so so guys this is how it looks like after marking okay so guys the next thing i will be doing i will just take from that part from the under boss then i will connect it using a french curve to connect it to meet my boss point line as shown So guys, I will do the other part like so. So guys, this is what we have after connecting. So guys, the next thing I will be doing is for me to... the What I will do here is that I will determine how low I want this bustier to be. So I just decided to take my boss radius and mark it my boss radius is three inches then i place the three inches on the boss line then i take it upwards like so then that is how low i want it to be then i'll just go ahead to roll it like so then guys i'll just go ahead to curve out my ham hole then what what i will do here is that i will first of all mark my boss measurement divided by two uh, divided by four sorry then I will just mark what I have. Then I will mark it like so. Then after that, I will find the midpoint from this line here. Then I will divide it into two equal half like so. Then I will make a notch. On that part, I make notch there. I will come in by 0 0.5 inches. But you can see come in by 0 0.7 inch. But for this one, I decided to come in by 0 0.5 inches. So guys, after that, I will just go ahead to use my French curve to connect these lines together. So guys, this is what we have after connecting. So guys, the next thing I will be doing here is for us to tighten the overbust, okay? So for the overbrush, I decided to come in by 0 0.5 inches on both sides, on both sides like so. But if you are busty, you can come in by 0 0.75 or 1 inches. So guys, after that, I will just go ahead to connect these lines to meet the bust point line. So guys, after connecting, it should be looking something like this. So guys, now we'll come over to the neck line for this bustier. So this is a personal preference. So this, you want how low you want your sweetheart neck to be, you can determine that. So guys, for the post point line, I come up by half an inch. Then I just use a, a French curve to connect it to the first that leg. So guys, this is the sweetheart neck I just created. So the next thing I'll be doing on the second that leg, I will just connect it to meet the ham hole, just the way you see me doing. So now we've we've done that and the next thing we'll be taking is our body measurement okay so guys you remember we've marked our boss measurements already before then what i will do here is just to take my that intake the replace my that intake okay i will measure what i have on that uh, that intake 
and I will replace it on the bust, on the uh, chest line there, just where you see me doing. Then I will come over to the waistline. Then I will divide my waist measurement into four. Then I will mark it and I will also mark my dots and replace it as well. So guys, this is how it looks like. So definitely we have done. Then I will just go ahead to connect the lines together. So guys, this is how it is. So basically we are done with this pattern. So guys, I will just go ahead to cut out this pattern out. So guys, after cutting, this is what we have. The side front and the center front. Okay. So guys, I will just take this aside and so guys here is a fresh pattern paper so I will use this one for the back okay so I will start I will just draw a line here just the way we did at the front part I will make a straight line and that will be my shoulder measurements okay so guys from then I will not take my chest line and mark it then i will just take my waistline as well so guys after that i will just leave this line up like so So guys, after that, I will take my, I will just go ahead to label these lines. That is my chest line and my waist line, okay? So the next thing I will be doing here is I will take my shoulder measurement divided by two. Then I will mark what I have. Then I will come over to the chest line and do the same as well. So guys, after that, I will just go ahead to rule this line up. then we have a straight line here so guys the next thing i will be doing is to take my neckline you know for the back the back neckline normally higher than the front then i will take two inches by the width because the width will definitely correspond with the front as well while for the depth i will take one inches then from then i will just make a line with a stretch with a uh, French curve so we didn't need this but I'm just doing it okay for a better understanding so guys I will take my shoulder slope by one inches then connect to meet the neckline with So guys that is that so for the so i will just take my nipple to nipple measurement and i will mark it and i will do that on the waistline as well then i will roll it up So guys, after ruling, I will come down by one inches from the chest line. Then I will mark from the dark leg, I will come in by half an inch on both sides to create my dart. So I will just connect this line to me the one inches I come down with. So 
so guys this will just serve as my dad's measurement and my dad's so okay guys i will just make my body measurement then i will divide my uh, bust measurements by two then mark on the chest line there then on this part here i will divide what i have into two equal half like so then i will just make a notch there and use a french curve to just connect there from that part to the body measurements i marked earlier so guys it will look something like this after marking then i will just come over to the waist measurement then the waistline sorry then i will mark my waist measurement by bed four then replace my dart intake then i will connect the lines together so guys this is how it looks like so i'll just go ahead to cut out this pattern so guys basically this pattern drafty is we are done with it then i'll just go ahead to cut out this pattern out so guys after cutting i will just cut out the yoke part i will just divide from the chest line there i'll just cut out that part out okay so for the yoke we, we don't need it anymore so guys here is the front part and this back okay i'll just go ahead to label these parts so guys i will like just like i said i will label this part like so there is my center front my side front okay and the back so guys this is how it looks like this strapless bustier this is how it looks like remember to add seam allowance to all your that area okay so guys we have come to the end of today's tutorial if you find this video helpful please give us a thumbs up comment on the comment section and subscribe please subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell so that whenever i upload any video you will be notified please thanks thanks for watching i appreciate your time i appreciate your stopping by all right guys thank you very much i appreciate you guys all right thanks see you in my next video bye